Good day, grade tens. In this lesson, we're looking at charge conservation. So the principle of conservation of charge states that the net charge of an isolated system remains constant during any physical process. Now remember, charge are just your protons and electrons. And if atoms and mass are conserved, which is what we've already learned about, then obviously your charge cannot be created or destroyed. It can merely be transferred from one object to another. So if we look at this little jar of applet, we can see again that we've got a jersey and the jersey over here is neutral. If you counted the number of little positives and little negatives, you would know that that was equal. Okay. Remember that we can charge an object by rubbing it. It's called triboelectric charging. Now what has happened? Do you see that the electrons have transferred from the jersey to the balloon. There hasn't been a creation or destruction of any charges. They've merely been transferred from one form to another. Right. So, when two identical conducting objects on insulating stands touch each other, the charge will travel in such a way that they end up with equal amounts of charge. So, if we've got two little conducting objects are on insulating stands and we touch them, then they will end up with equal amounts of charge. Let's have a little illustration. So here we've got our first one with a whole bunch of charge and here is one and you can see it is negatively charged because those are electrons and this dude over here is neutral. If we then touch them together, what's going to happen is we're going to end up with equal amounts of charge. The charge is going to travel from the one that is more negatively charged, the one that is neutral or positively charged, to the point where they are equal. And that is the conservation of charge. The equation to work out what the final charge is going to be is Q equals Q1 plus Q plus Q2 over 2. So we'd have the first one which would be Q1 which is a charge on the first object. Q2 is a charge on the second object and Q is a charge on both spheres after they've touched each other. Now remember we can only use this equation if the conductors are identical. So let's look at an example. Remember the SI unit for electric charge is the Coulomb. So we've got one little conducting sphere A and the other is B. A has a charge, a positive charge of 2 times by 10 to the minus 6 Coulombs. B has a positive charge of 3 times by 10 to the minus 6 coulombs. We are going to bring them into contact and when we bring them into contact we gain to, remember that the charge is going to be split between the two. So we can use the equation Q equals the Q of A plus the Q of B all divided by 2. So that would be 2 times by 10 to the negative 6 plus 3 times by 10 to the negative 6 divided by 2 and after touching you'll find that the charge in each of them is going to be 2.5 times by 10 to the negative 6 coulombs. So they've split it and the electrons will obviously flow from A to B because the fact that this is both positive charge. Right, and that is all you need to know about the conservation of charge. Please make sure you understand how it is transferred and make sure you learn the definition of conservation of charge. Thank you, Great Tens. Have an awesome day.